In today's video, I will show you a part of my workflow for optimizing the scenes in Unreal Engine, which is called channel packing. This is a process of merging three or four individual black and white or grayscale maps, masks you have created or some kind of dirt textures for your PBR materials into one single RGBA file. The goal is to reduce the file sizes as well as save on texture memory. It is always better to use one single map instead of four, right? When you pack your textures, you can do it however you want in the channels, but uh, it's better to be consistent uh, so there is a structure in your files and you can reuse your textures and materials in the game engine later on. Because of this, there are some standards that are used in the industry, like for example, ORM or ERM maps. Uh, ORM stands for Occlusion Roughness Metallic, which are packed respectively into the, uh, the ambient occlusion into the red channel, roughness into the green channel and metallic into the blue. For the air map, the ambient occlusion is replaced by the emissive map into the same slot. And by combining them, you get the so-called ORM channel pack texture, which looks like this. So for this example, I have prepared uh, some maps and they are called like the albedo map, which is the diffuse texture, uh, it, the ambient occlusion, metallic, normal and roughness. And we are going to pack these three together into one ORM texture. We start by drag and dropping them in Photoshop and uh, we'll see that it's uh, uh, 2K resolution. So we start by making a new file which is 2K as well. So we go first to the uh, ambient occlusion map with control A and con select the map, control C to copy it. Then we go to the new file into the channel category. We select the first channel which is the red one and control V to paste the map there. After that we go to the roughness texture and we select it, copy it, go to the document into the uh, green channel, paste there the roughness map and then the last one, the metallic map, select it all, copy it to the new document, we select the boot channel and paste it there. Now as you can see, all the channels are having different maps and when we select them all, we get this map, which is the ORM channel pack texture. Then we save it. And call it form texture. So now I'll show you how to combine them into Unreal Engine. Okay, now let's drag and drop the ORM, Albedo and Normal Map into Unreal Engine.
so the albedo is the diffuse texture we don't uh, change anything here the normal map is uh, recognized from the software so here we don't have to change anything as well for the orb map we should change the settings to masks and to disable the srgb as this is no rgb map these are different uh, masks laid onto separate channels okay let's see how we can use those textures that we created by making a master material and call it m underscore orm okay now let's drag and drop the three maps inside this is the normal map the diffuse and the arm so the diffuse goes to the base cover the arm map the red channel goes into ambient occlusion as we know the green channel goes to roughness and the blue channel goes to metallic as here we have uh, structured it like this and the uh, uh, normal map will connect it to the normal now here is how a basic setup should look like with all the textures connected and all the slots connected as they should be if you want to control it more we can make uh, some parameters to control the UVs like texture coordinate we multiply it by a parameter call it tiling We can as well control the roughness and the ambient occlusion of the maps by making some more parameters. By pressing M and uh, left clicking, we create this multiply node and by control c control v we multiply also these parameters here and this one we'll call it ambient occlusion strength Let's copy this one for the roughness. And let's call this roughness strength. To control the normal map, we have to create uh, a linear interpolation node and let's create 
color zero zero one and now let's interpolate this to values and create a parameter to control the normal strength and this one goes into the normal map now save and let's create material instance which will be called panels and here we can control the tiling as you can see we can control the normal strength we can control the glossiness and the ambient occlusion strength if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss thanks for watching and see you in the next video